Well, the judicial branch is one of the three branches of government. It has a separate function than the other two branches, which is the legislative branch and the executive branch. And the judicial branch's primary responsibility is to resolve disputes. The judicial branch handles generally two kinds of cases, criminal cases in which um, the state or the prosecutor seeks to punish someone for committing a crime, and civil cases in which people are injured or harmed in some way and they're seeking compensation or some other form of relief. And so what judges in these courts do is they hear the cases from the two sides of, uh, of, of a dispute and they render a decision. Um, uh, based on their interpretation of the law. The federal government is divided up into different levels of court, kind of like the steps on a ladder. At the bottom step is the district courts. There's over 90 district courts in the United States. The district courts are the trial level courts. That where the, that's where the cases start, where the trials occur. The circuit courts are courts which hear appeals and every losing party in any case, whether it's a criminal case or a civil case, has the right to appeal the decision to the next level up, which in the federal system is the circuit court. The circuit court is a panel of three judges. It's not a trial, but the judges listen to what happened at the trial and decide whether the trial was fair or there was a mistake made. Once the circuit court decides the case, it's usually over with even though there's this next step on the ladder called the Supreme Court of the United States. Each side is given a chance to go to the Supreme Court to ask the Supreme Court to hear the case. And the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court gets thousands of parties asking them to hear the case, but generally takes very few. And the reason is the Supreme Court generally only hears cases where there's an important constitutional issue or whether maybe some of the circuit courts have disagreed over an issue and they need to resolve it to get uniformity within the federal system. But very, very few cases get taken to the Supreme Court, even though many lawyers and litigants and parties ask the Supreme Court to hear their case. The courts play a very important role in the United States because in many, many ways, uh, politics is often gray. It's not black and white. And uh, the interpretation of the Constitution is also not always straightforward. And so by interpreting laws and interpreting the Constitution, uh, the Supreme Court and uh, other federal courts uh, play a very important role in shaping the way that policies and laws are actually implemented in the United States, uh, something that, uh, that is necessary uh, or else you know, there wouldn't be a way to resolve many of the disputes that occur in American politics. And you can think of the court system in the United States as, uh, as sort of the primary um, forum for resolving disputes between both people and institutions in the country. Um, one of the things that they do addition additionally in, in, as part of resolving those disputes um, and giving uh, you know, some mechanism for resolving those concerns um, is that they protect the rights of, uh, of citizens. Um, the Constitution affords uh, what are known as civil liberties to its citizens, that is, freedoms from government interference in our lives, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion. Those are things that the Constitution protects for citizens. But without a court system, there would be no mechanism to enforce those rules. And so what the courts do is they make sure that the government, that other people don't violate those basic civil liberties that we have. And that's one of the most important things that an independent court system, which we have, does.